Today we're talking about ovulation and what it means or what it looks like when you feel your ovulation. Now this has a spectrum. Some people don't feel it at all. Some people can kind of tell and other people it's actually accompanied by a relatively sharp amount of pain. And you're going to see why, because we're not just going to stick to the 3D model, but I do want to cover some basic anatomy here. So the uterus is front and center. Then you have the uterid tube leading up to these little catcher's mitts. Those are called the fembriae and the ovary. The ovary is the rock star of ovulation. Once a month, a primordial egg cell that's basically stored egg cells in each ovary moves into a process where it becomes a cyst and it sort of erupts and hopefully the fembriae there catch it and kind of scoop it up and kind of ferry it into the upper portion of the uterid tube. Now from here, we're actually going to go look at what ovulation looks like in a real person. So this is what ovulation looks like. And if it isn't abundantly clear why you can feel this, let me walk you through the process a little bit. So obviously this is labeled, but that ovary is actually this entire white structure that you're seeing there. And from this side to this side, you can see that the name tracks. This is the follicle. So this is the cyst that's developing on the ovary that kind of houses the egg. And the egg is inside of that, and it is only going to be between 0.1 and 0.2 millimeters, which is really, really tiny but can actually still be seen by the human eye. If you want to hear about that, go to the previous video. But these cysts are not small. They are just under an inch and some can actually be bigger than an inch. So when someone with a uterus tells you they can feel their ovulation, you believe them. And if I need to bring this home for the boys, imagine having a one inch cyst on your testicle and having it split open and no one believing you that it hurts. 